is Julie Faye Van Balder, and I'm here with the Scan and Cut 2. The Scan and Cut 2 is a fantastic machine for making fabric projects of all kinds. So for instance, I painted out some quick words, you and me, and I was able to cut them out of fabric with a fusible web on the back in all sorts of different sizes because everything is customizable. So any applique design, perfectly easy to cut it in any size that you'd like. You can even do fussy cutting with the Scan and Cut 2. Check out this beautiful piece of pattern fabric. We were able to perfectly cut out this little inside teardrop shape using the direct cut function. But what I really want to talk to you about today is cutting quilt pieces with your Scan and Cut. Not only cutting, but drawing your stitch line. So I have this unironed piece of fabric and I want to use it, but this mat is not quite sticky enough to hold that unironed fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my high tack fabric support sheet. Now you can see that there's a shiny side and there's a dull side. And what I want to do is I want to take the shiny side down onto the sticky part of the mat. And I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can with that sticky square. And I'm going to go ahead and lay it down and smooth it down with my fingers. Now essentially the high tack fabric support sheet, just as the name suggests, is high tack uh, adhesive, which is gonna hold my fabric. So I'm gonna pick at the corner here to lift off the green protective sheet. And now you can see I have that clear adhesive that's high tack down on my mat. Once that's done, I'm able to take my unironed fabric and I wanna put it with the design down and I'm just gonna smooth it right onto that adhesive. And now I'm gonna essentially iron it, so to speak, with my fingers so that it stays in place and it's nicely down and I'm smoothing out all of those wrinkles. Perfectly easy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open the dust cover and I'm gonna load my mat into the scan and cut by holding the front edges and pressing the load button. Once it's in there, I can choose pattern from the home screen. And on the second page, there's all sorts of quilt designs. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of trouble with curves. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a curve design. Now, 7.29 is a weird size for a quilt block. So we can make it a very standard size, let's say eight inches. But of course, you can customize it to be exactly what you want it to be. And I just ran past eight, but there it is. You can see how easy it is to adjust. So once that's done, I'm gonna hit OK. Now I can pick any of the pieces that I want, and as soon as I pick them, it's gonna highlight on the screen so I can see what I'm doing. I think we should cut one of these great curves. So I'm gonna hit OK, I'm gonna hit Set, you'll see it come up on the screen, but I need to scan in the fabric so that I can make sure that it's going to fit exactly where I want it to. The background scan option is a great option for fussy cutting, for using up your supplies, for really maximizing what you already have. And once it comes up on the screen, I'm going to be able to easily place my fabric pieces, well place my cut pieces wherever I want. So it's come up here, there we go. I have two pieces, they look great. I'm going to place them and I cut two because that's exactly what my design called for. And if you want to maximize your fabric, one of the things I would suggest is rotating a piece. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees, maybe 90 degrees again, just like that. And now you can see how these fit together super easy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and make any other adjustments I want to make. And once that's done, I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to draw and it's going to highlight only the inner line and now I'm going to be able to draw my stitch line directly onto my fabric. Once my stitch line is drawn, I'm gonna hit finish and then I can't cut it when I have the pen tool loaded. So I wanna pull that out and instead I'm gonna put in my blade, which I've already set to a four and a half, which is just right for cutting fabric. Then I'm gonna close that down. And also I should note that in the settings, I have changed my cut speed to a one and my cut pressure to a five, which works really great for cotton weight quilting fabric. I'm gonna choose cut and you can see that it's gonna give me a quarter inch seam allowance and it's gonna cut those shapes out. Thank you. 
Once it's done cutting, I'm gonna unload the mat. I'm gonna go ahead and peel away the excess fabric. And you can see right here that my piece is both has the line that is drawn, that's my stitch line, and the line that is cut already for me, so I'm ready to piece. Remember, the Scan and Cut 2 is a great tool for fabric projects of all kinds. See it, scan it, cut it, create it.